What's going on guys? All right, today we are breaking down week one of the XFL. In this video, we are looking at the game between the Los Angeles Wildcats and the Houston Roughnecks, breaking down all of the fantasy relevant options, who to start, who to sit, and just giving you guys an overview of how I expect this game to go. But if you guys are looking for XFL content every single day, click that like and subscribe button and make sure that you click that bell so that we are notified when more XFL news drops into your feed. But anyway, not going to waste any more time. Let's get started right away. All right, guys. So as I said, we, today we're breaking down the Wildcats and the Roughnecks. This game will be the second game held on Saturday in this open uh, kickoff of the inaugural season of the XFL. Right now, the Roughnecks are favored by five and a half points. And overall, I think that uh, over under will probably change a lot if we get more news about the quarterback out of LA, but we'll get to that in a second. We'll start with the home team. Let's look at the Roughnecks. Now, yesterday we finally received the news that we've been hoping and waiting here. Um, Philip Walker is the official starter for the season and he should be started in all of your teams. He remains one of the better values in DFS this week as well. We'll get into that in our DFS specific videos that you'll see come out soon, but I think you can start Philip Walker with complete confidence in all formats. All right, let's jump over to the running backs. Now, looking at the depth chart, there was some uh, conspiracy going on that D'Angelo Henderson was going to be the better back outside of Andre Williams, and I'm really hoping that this depth chart can finally help uh, turn down that narrative uh, because Williams, in my opinion, is the all-around more talented back, and he should get the starter nod, which he did. When we look at the depth chart, Andre Williams is listed as the one and, and Henderson is listed as the two. I think Williams represents a great value for daily this week and he should be able to put up respectable numbers in your season long leagues. Um, I'm going to play a wait and see role for Henderson for now. Like I said, I wasn't ever really that excited about him. The only reason why I started even paying attention to him was because everyone else was anointing him the starter job without any real buzz as to why. So um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Let's. Uh, looking at the wide receiver depth chart, finally a team with no surprises at the wide receivers. In the four wide receiver sets, we see Sammy Coates, Khalil Lewis, Cam Phillips, and Nick Hawley. And remember, guys, this is going to be a team that utilizes four wide receiver sets pretty often considering they have no tight ends on their roster. Um, but overall, as we already knew, Sammy Coates is a must start. And I'd argue that Khalil Lewis is right there as well, considering the amount of uh, big plays he's made in the preseason and just the amount of praise that he's gotten from the coaching staff. Both of those guys are tremendous plays this week. Between Cam Phillips and Nick Hawley, I'm not really sure who I like better. Uh, I would rather play a wait and see approach with both of those guys and make sure that um, we can kind of see how this is all going to tip out, you know, between the pass volume. But overall, I'm starting Sammy Coates and Khalil Lewis and I'll wait on everybody else. And then on the defensive side, if Josh Johnson ends up playing, then I definitely like Houston's defense a little bit less. But right now, he's a game-time decision, and if they end up having to go with Chad Knopf, Houston becomes one of the better uh, defenses and is a sneaky value in DFS. All right, let's jump over to the visiting team, the Wildcats. As I've been alluding to, Josh Johnson is a must-start if he plays, but that's a big if right now. He's a game-time decision with a thigh injury, so keep an eye on this one and have a backup plan just in case. Charles Kanoff will get the nod if Johnson doesn't play, but I would definitely temper expectations for him and try to find a better option if at all possible. All right, looking at the running backs, as we expected, Elijah Hood is going to get the start, and Dewan Harris will likely play that third down pass catching role. Hood will be a decent start. I like him a lot this week, but overall, I am trying to avoid playing any of the other backs there because Larry Rose is there as well, and I'd really like to see how the usage between Dewan Harris and Larry Rose ends up shaking out before I roll someone out on my fantasy team. All right. Looking at the wide receivers, this is another shocker at the wide receiver depth chart where we see that both Adonis Jennings and Jordan Smallwood are listed over Trey McBride and Saeed Blacknell. Saeed Blacknell had been making pretty much every single highlight play in the preseason that they could ask for, so I really don't understand this one. If this is theatrics, Saeed Blacknell is definitely a smaller guy, so maybe this is more a, we're not going to deploy him until a little bit later in the game once we've established the run, so I'm I'm not reading too much into that one, 
but Trey McBride is also dealing with an injury right now. He was limited in practice today, so I think McBride is definitely the one that I'm tempering expectations on, but I'm still keeping my hopes up for Saeed Blacknell. I'm not starting Adonis Jennings or Jordan Smallwood. I mean, really, this wide receiver core is one of those we're, we're going to have to see what happens on the field before we have a fully confident assessment of how this is all going to play out. With the exception of one guy, Nelson Spruce, my goodness, make sure that he is in your starting lineup. He is going to be one of, if not the best wide receiver this week. This is going to be a high score game, even if Chad cannot play is and Nelson Spruce is going to see the majority of uh, the work based on the uncertainty around him. So make sure he's in your starting lineup. And then on the tight end side, thankfully there are no surprises here, unlike we've seen with some other teams. Brandon Barnes remains the tight end one, and there's only two active tight ends on this depth chart, so you can start him with confidence. On the defensive side, I'm trying to avoid playing both defenses, especially if Josh Johnson plays, but regardless, I'm not looking to play the Wildcats defense against a strong Houston Roughnecks offense. This could be, like again, if Josh Johnson plays, this should be the highest scoring game on the slate, so I'd rather avoid playing both defenses here. But anyway, I do think that the Houston Roughnecks will win this game. I'm with Vegas on this one. And I think that, like I said, hopefully Josh Johnson plays because that'll give us a lot more scoring and should be one of the more exciting games to watch this week. So make sure you check that out at, I believe, 5 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for rankings, trade advice, waiver wire advice, you can get that at my uh, website at fantasyaddictionnetwork.com. Click that link in the description. If you guys are looking for XFL content posted daily click that like and subscribe button we'll be keeping you up to date on all that's happening around the xfl throughout the season anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video